Well, good evening, everybody. My name is Chris Wilson, and this is Chris Wilson Live on Thursdays. The Thursday. What, what are we calling this these days? I, I've just been going with Chris Wilson Live. Chris Wilson Live. Well, this is Chris Wilson Live. It's Thursday night, 7 o'clock. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. With me, as always, is my charming and delightful wife, Carrie. Hello. Hopefully everyone can hear her okay. Let me know if you can't hear me. I, I always forget to check my mic. Oh, they'll time, let you so know. They, they will. will let you know. They will. And I'm glad. <laughs> um, we hope everybody is having a good second half of your week leading into Friday. Um this has been a good week for us. Lots of work happening. Yeah. Um, been at the uh, shop all week doing things. It's going to be very exciting. For those of you who don't know or didn't tune in last week, we are opening a little guitar shop in uh, in downtown Brockport. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a lovely little place where you can come and play and pick out a used instrument. So a guitar that is previously loved, but those are always the best sounding ones. Um, every all the ones we have are in great condition, and uh, and so we're super excited about it. So I've spent all week doing making the place look lovely. Yeah. And what else? Um, had to get humidifiers to keep the place. It's one thing about being in New York and having instruments is you have to keep any place that has a guitar has to be between forty five and fifty percent humidity because if it's not, your guitar will have problems. So this has been an issue for me. It's been a challenge my whole life, filling up humidifiers, you know. I don't know. That's a terrible, terrible story to start a show with. No, it's, it's I terrible. Always, I know that I always love it when you talk about humidity. How much, like out of the general time that is spent in our life talking, how much time would you say I spend talking about humidity? Like more than I should. Probably. Like 25%. Like 25% of our marriage is based on... Humidity. Just humidity talk. Various levels. Good humidity, Good humi bad humidity. Bad humidity. Look what the humidity has done. Right. You know, or, you know, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we all have our things. Um, I'm excited because, you know what? This is one of the guitars that just came into my possession that is going to be sold at the shop. I thought I would play it tonight. This is a Yamaha silent guitar. Now, I have two of these custom-made ones that I play that I used to take overseas with me when I'd go to f to uh, really anywhere overseas because I could bring two of these guitars because they're very, very thin, and they actually come apart, and I could put them in the overhead bin in the airplane, which, you know, because you always need to travel with a guitar and a backup. And I just never, I had one guitar terribly, terribly smashed and ruined by United Airlines. Um, and they didn't do anything for me. And uh, I vowed I wouldn't just, I wouldn't take a, a nice no. Martin or something like that. These guitars sound really good, but they just travel really well. So anyway, this guitar will be for sale at Wilson's Guitar Shop, 72 Main <laughs> Street, Brockport. Good. About 50% of our show is now going to just be advertising guitars, I think. No. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start by singing, um, who requested, Lord, I hope this day is good. Who I know that came in earlier today, but was that from Michelle? That was Michelle. All right, yes. Michelle, we're opening up with your song here. Love this one. I used to sing this song for my friend Anna all the time. Yeah. God rest her soul. We miss her very much. She was a, a wonderful supporter of what we do. And still is somewhere, you know? Amen. <laughs> Faithfully, 
Lord, I know I'm not a righteous man, but Lord, I hope you understand. Don't need fortune and I don't need fame. Send the thunder, Lord, send down the rain. When you're planning how it will be Plan a good day for me Lord, I hope this day is good Cause I'm feeling empty and misunderstood I should be thankful, Lord, I know I should but Lord, I hope this day is good. I'd like to send that song out also to my friend Maureen McDonald. She always liked that one as well. I think she probably still does. What you got for me, babe? Well, we had a request for Poor Boy from Jim. Haha, ha, Jim. You know what? I can talk to Jim right through this way because, Jim, where's where's the camera? Which camera am I looking into? Um, this one here. Okay. Yep. Jim, are you with me? I texted Liz in a couple of different places tonight <laughs> to see if I can come for to visit you tomorrow. And I hadn't heard back yet. So I'm just going to ask you right now because you're watching. If you would like a visit, I will sling the guitar over my shoulder and I will come see you tomorrow. Um yeah. Tomorrow I'm going full on troubadour. I'm going to visit yeah. all the folks who, who, who might want a little music. Yeah. So I'm just slinging the guitar over my shoulder and I'm getting in the car. So Jim, if you would like a visit tomorrow, respond in the affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> How is everyone doing tonight? Everyone seems everyone seems pretty good. This is a fun little guitar. It, uh, it is very nice. You know, I played all you know years playing overseas. This was the only these were the only guitars that I played. These two custom Yamahas that I have, and it's funny how as soon as I put it in my hand, it brings me right back there because. I stopped playing these guitars almost immediately after I came home because then I wanted to play some other guitars because yeah. I had only played these. Yeah. So I sort of put them in the closet and I hadn't played them. So it's weird how just putting that neck shape in my hand, I can I can see the stages <coughs> that I played on over there. I can it's bizarre. It makes me want to play the songs I played when I was over there. Yeah, do it. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> I didn't play any songs over there. No. So. Mm. You would occasionally rehearse with me. 
I would. In the marble bathroom. That was always fun. Yep. Yep. Come here, sweetie, and sing this harmony. And she'd be like, no. Now we have two daughters who can take that role. All right, so we got a request for this one last week, and I didn't get to play it. I think this is going to go out to Tracy. I believe it was Tracy, yes. Has Jim responded? Let me check. Because I want to know. I don't see anything yet. So I will, I will... I think we gotta we'll g- we, g- we gotta give J- Jim a clock. We gotta <laughs> put it on the clock. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to. Do you know what I'm saying? First I was afraid, I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side But then I spent so many nights thinking how you done me wrong And I grew strong I learned how to carry on Now you're back From outer space Just walked in to find you here With that sad look upon your face Should've changed that stupid lie Should've made you leave your key If I'd have known for just one minute Bother me, go on now, go walk out the door. Just turn around now, cause you're not welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Think I'd crumble. You think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, not I. Survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I got all my life to live, for all my love to give, I will survive. Yeah, 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 I will survive. To go all the strength I had Not to fall apart Kept trying to mend the pieces Of my broken heart I've spent so many nights Just feeling sorry for myself I used to cry But now I hold my head up high And you see me Somebody new Not that change of little person Who's still in love with you So you felt like dropping in You expect me to be free Now I'm saving all my loving For someone who's loving me I will survive I will survive I'll stay alive I got all my life to live For all my love to give I will survive Yeah, yeah, yeah I will survive I will survive
face. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give me something. I know. I'm so I need well, feedback. Well, it takes me a minute. Feedback is key for me. Otherwise, I just feel like, There's you know buttons what? buttons to press. I'll just. Headphones to take off. Go get a job doing something else. <laughs> Where they're like, nice burger, Chris. That was really nice. You really, you really centered all of the ingredients nicely on the bun. Yeah. And I'll say, thank you. Right. Thank you for that. Actually, they don't do that at burger places. No, but you would. I would. Yeah. I would. I would not only expect it, but I would do it. (laughs) Carrie and I um, have an ongoing sort of chat about how when you go and get a burger, really the only job, apart from cooking the burger, is just centering the things on the bun. Yeah. And the fast food establishments struggle with this. They do. You know, I don't even want to tell you what they do to a fillet of fish. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> can't even talk about it. It's ludicrous what they do. So, I mean, maybe the subtext here might be just don't don't go over there. Yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> don't support that. Don't support that. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> anyway, have we heard from Jim yet? I wish I could say we had. What is going on? Yeah. So definitely wait to play his request until we know that he's tuned in. So like tomorrow when he says, oh, yeah, I watched your whole show. I'll be like, sure you did. You right. might have watched for a minute and then you were yeah. off doing other things. <laughs> so a really great request just came in. Leader of the band. Oh, I haven't sung that in a long time. Is that a possibility? Who is it for? Peter. (laughs) Well. Yes. If I had said somebody else, would you have said no? No. Yeah. All right, let's do it. child alone and wild cabinet maker's son his hands were meant for different work his heart was known to none he left his home and went his own and solitary way and he gave to me a gift I know I never can repay Quiet man of music denied his simple fate. He tried to be a soldier once, but his music wouldn't wait. He heard his love through discipline, a thundering velvet hand. And his gentle means of sculpting souls took me years to understand.
Thank you for the music and the stories of your own. Thank you for the freedom when it came my time to go. Thank you for the kindness in the times when you got tough. Papa, I don't think I said I love you near enough. Leader of the band is tired, his eyes are growing old. His blood runs through my instrument, his song is in my soul. Life has been a poor attempt to imitate the man. I'm just a living legacy to the leader of the band. The leader of the band is tired, his eyes are growing low, but his blood runs through my instrument. His song is in my soul. Life has been a poor attempt to imitate the man. I'm just a living legacy to the leader of the band. I am a living legacy to the leader Thank you, my darling. Oh, that song brings back so many memories. I've been yeah. singing that song what seems like my entire life. I think I played that song for the first time when I was 13 years old, and I don't think I ever, somewhere around there anyway, and I've been playing it ever since. Yeah, I love that one. Such a beautiful song, Dan Fogelberg. Um, I was going to play Poor Boy, but I'm not going to do it until I know Jim's watching. I don't have anything yet, but... If we don't hear from him, you should still play it. Okay. Just give him a little more time. All right. Um, we have a couple more requests. Um, I see them. To make oh yeah, I have them up on the screen. So can you read those? Um. Yes. Yes, I do. I can read them. Good. I also just had a text come in that came on the screen, so I must be connected in some way. And it simply says Dijon Mayo. <laughs> I saw that. I wondered about it. Because your phone is up here with me. <laughs> I don't know who sent it. You don't? I do. You do? I do. Do you know why? I don't. Wow. <laughs> so This is a we mystery. Have, we have a lot to talk about. We after. do, I guess. We, we do. do. Dijon Mayo dot dot dot. Yeah. Do you want to know who sent it? Yes. Brian. Brian Ayers? Mm hmm Dijon Mayo. But why? What was it? Did something? But did we talk about... Dijon? We had lunch. Was we had there lunch. a Dijon Mayo? So Brian Ayers and I, wonderful, fantastic musician who I love to play with and who... He and I will be doing an Everly Brothers yes. review in June. So we will have tickets up for that at some point. Yep. Um, got together today for lunch. And we had lunch. I had a bagel sandwich. Did he have something that had Dijon It's mayo possible on it? that he had. <laughs> See, but if it's a text, I'm, it usually comes up with his name on it. He's probably going, why are they talking about this on the show right now? As well as the entire rest of the audience. Maybe he's like, I can't why. believe he doesn't remember Dijon But mayo. he didn't say anything about Dijon mayo. Maybe he did have a, a what looked like a panini, and it looked good. Yeah. Maybe it had Dijon mayo on it. And he we was just like. You know like, what? Let's talk about it after, I think. We'll get to the Probably best. Probably yeah. best to talk about it afterward. Yeah. 
But when you get a text that just says Dijon Mayo dot dot dot, you want to know. I will tell you it was the second of two texts. Well, <laughs> well that I mean, we'll we'll discuss it afterward. We'll discuss but that would have been after. helpful to know that there I know. was. I, you know, I, you know, we'll discuss it later. Does it have something to do with the fact that I was talking about McDonald's and the burger? No, I got to let it go. Just let it go, Wilson. Somebody said that that Jim had responded on Facebook, but I'm not I'm not seeing the response. <laughs> Anyway, I suppose we should get back to the rest of the audience here. Well, I'm going to sing Poor Boy. I think that would be good.
I found Jim. Good. <laughs> he we, so what happened was, and the reason that we couldn't see him, is because we were mo I was my I was monitoring the Chris Wilson Facebook page, not the Chris Wilson music Facebook page. Oh. And that's where he was responding. Does he want? Would, does he? Would he like yeah, to visit? He does. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna party tomorrow, Jim. Carrie promised me she'd make a chocolate chip cookie, too. Yeah. I'm going to hold you to that. I know. Now everyone knows, and I have to do it for yep, sure. Yeah, that's why I did it. <laughs> Boy, I'm singing. I'm, I'm, see, I'm, I'm, I'm singing a lot tonight, so they're, we're... We were only like halfway through. I know. And you, I've yeah. sung a lot usually, already. Usually I'm yapping and yapping. You're just rolling into your first one right around now. Yeah, I'm easy. <laughs> nice. Um, do we have anything that we, any announcements we have to make? Yeah. Well, yes. Um, so we did our first. Uh, so you want to talk about Dan, uh, David? We did the first David here and it was. And for those who don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> what? I was like, and it was, <laughs> and then you just. <laughs> it. And it was. May, it was. May I? Yeah. <laughs> it was wonderful. Um, we had a, a full crowd, and everybody was really enthusiastic, and it came off really great. So the stage that you see behind me, we transformed this place into a movie theater. And I have to say, and I think, Carrie, I think you'll back me up on this, we achieved full movie theater in here. I mean, it's true. The sound and more and more and the accompanying visual display. Every single person that was here pretty much said came up to us and said we loved it. And, and it was added so much what, what we did and what Gracie did. Um, so for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we have been showing the show David, which was a theatrical product production that happens at Sight and Sound Theater happened last year anyway. Um in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And our family was so taken with this show and how powerful it was, the music, the visual, everything. Uh, we went and saw it three times. And at some point, we discovered that we could get the rights to show the vi a video 
presentation of this th- theatrical production at our barn, which we did. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do this multiple times. But the first one was a huge success. Gracie was magnificent. She yep. hit all the cues beautifully. And it was just, it was great. It's a great time to, you know, we and we did the whole popcorn candy refreshment yep. thing. Every penny. So we take donations for the evening. Um, we did really well on donations. And every single penny is going toward the our kids, uh, the uh, our One Hallelujah Kids group. Uh, youth group um, for them to take a trip to Sight and Sound Theater uh, to see this year's production of Daniel. So not to be too confusing here, but so if you would like to come see David, this next one, we still have some seats available. We do. It's March 10th. This one is on a Sunday afternoon. So if you don't want to drive at night, this would be a good one. We will be putting more up. So if that date doesn't work, then just wait for the next dates to come out. Yes, we um, don't. but it's it. It was so great. It, it was, was so wonderful. great. I and I'm I weep like a baby at the end of this show every, know, every single time, time live or on video. So I was up in the sound booth because usually I'm here on stage, but I was up in the sound booth, um, sort of yeah. help, helping Gracie with the sound. And, and I was sitting in the audience. It's amazing. At some point, Gracie put her hand on my shoulder and she was like, "Are you going to be okay, Dad?" <laughs> <laughs> like she she was sweet she put her hand on my shoulder and then she leaned her head down and i'm like <laughs> just finish doing what you're doing <laughs> this show is so powerful and it's so moving and i just can't recommend it more highly and uh so make a reservation come come hang out with us come see this it is worth it is worth it yeah um yeah the only other thing i wanted to mention and and We'll talk about more more stuff at the end. I don't want to put too much in one segment, but the so we we mentioned last week about doing another um, afternoon tea at the Gingerbread House, which we are doing, but we're changing the date. We we initially had it set up for this Sunday, but we had kind of a lot going on, and we were sort of putting a lot out there at once. And due to a kind of low volume of people that we had signed up, we decided to push it down the road to spring, where it, I think I think. That'll give us a little more time to sort of spread the word. But if you're interested, it's it's wonderful. It's at the Gingerbread House. It, it's the three tiers with the scones and the sandwiches and the sweets and and tea. And it's wonderful and lovely. Um, what? Why? Okay. So Chris has lost his microphone. So I'm just going to talk about some other things coming up while he fixes that. Um, Is he, can you fix it, hon? Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to mute him for a sec. Okay. So um, yes. So I'm going to put the graphic up for that. So that has been pushed to, I believe it's April 21st. But if you go on chriswilson.us, you can um, sign up for that. That one is not free. That is a ticketed event. But it is worth it. I promise you it is a lovely time. Um, If you're looking for music, we got um, a couple of John Denver shows coming up in March as well. The first one is almost sold out. I think there's three tickets left or four uh, last I checked. But we added a new date on Sunday, the very next day during the afternoon. Um, That one has plenty of seats available. So I think that's March 16th and 17th. Um, go on chriswilson.us to purchase tickets for that. Um, I think that's that's it for announcements right now. That's enough, I think. Did you put batteries in? I muted it because I didn't know if it was... Hold on. Okay. I'm back. Yay. Okay. Announcements are done. Announcement. I love that picture of the teacup there at the teacup. I know. Chris took that on his phone. I did. Cool. I just held that teacup in front of my iPhone, really close to the lens, and I thought it just the perspective yeah, on it was like really it's perfect. Thank you, sweetie. You are welcome. Thanks for uh, thanks for filling the time there. Well, you know. <laughs> So 
So it looks like um, Cheryl Thompson, our our dear friend, um, has requested an old hymn mm-hmm. that I remember from singing in in the Catholic Church when I was like altar boy time. Yeah, I remember this this being one of those songs. So I hope I I don't sing this song very often, but I I do remember it. So I'm going to uh, give it a shot. Because I do love the old hymns. was so beautiful well thank you yeah. we didn't i didn't i never heard that one growing up so yeah i mean i think they i don't think they just sang it in the catholic church but i just remember it very strongly from the my altar boy days yeah. hearing that really we had nice. a gentleman who sang in the choir and he had this deep rumbly voice 
and it, the song is called Here I Am, Lord, and it was in my childhood brain, he was the voice of God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, And it would just sort of rumble down. You know, so Carrie and I talk about this a lot because um, we we both... I think, you know, it's funny, as a musician, I've spent my life on a stage, almost my whole life. And I've also spent my life being a faithful uh, follower of Christ. So these things, I guess they overlap a little bit. But in church, I I usually don't, I don't like to perform in church. And I think the nature of the music, when it moved up front, sort of turned a lot of the music into a performance, made it a little less humble and perhaps a little yeah. less sincere. And we always sort of talk about how much we loved the days where the music was in the loft behind the congregation. Yeah. And the congregation, ascent, you know, so they would sort of, uh, you know, the music was coming from behind, so it was there to support the congregation, but the congregation took the lead. Yeah. You know? And there's something so lovely about a church that still has the music coming from behind. There's very few. I don't. Even the ones that have the old churches that have the choir loft yeah. behind, they've moved all the music up front. And so I would like to start a movement to put it back where it came from. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll be really popular, I <laughs> yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Nobody will come to it. <laughs> no, we b- I believe that very strongly. And maybe it's because I've spent my whole life performing. And I realize, you know, for me, you know, um, I I had always sort of been on stage and I'd sort of had you know, I'd be quippy and I always had things to say and I would be singing and then whatever. And then, but when I found that I wanted to have personal moments, I found that I was always trying to extract the performance from it because it was the only way that I could know that it was real and sincere, you know? And so even like when I asked Carrie to marry me, um, everybody was saying, oh, well, it's it's Chris, so he's probably going to do something really crazy and over yeah. the top and and it would sort of seem that way maybe but i when it came down to do it i just took the ring out of my pocket and i just slid it across the couch and i i didn't say a word yeah i i, I and which is one or two would have been okay. one, or th- one or two yeah. would have been helpful cuz Carrie didn't exactly like, know what was I happening think i know what's happening <laughs> but if i if i say it and it's not that'll be embarrassing so so yes but i found that for me in order for me to know just really have you know, 100% confidence that what was happening was sincere. I just needed it to be small yeah. and humble. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just a goof. But One of the many reasons why I married you. Well, you're very sweet. Are we having a moment? <laughs> maybe we should wait till after the show to have a moment. we got 10 more minutes. <laughs> What's going on with everybody? I can't see those. I, okay, so there's a couple other requests there. We could sing. Um, we could sing She Will for Nikki. Yeah.
tell me that you need them Just for me to hold her when I told her that I wanted her in for Nikki. I haven't heard that one in a long time. Yeah. It's nice. I was so excited when we first recorded that song, when I first wrote it with my friend John, we were out in Los Angeles 2004, and uh, we wrote that song, and we were just thinking of, you know, just a play on she will, she won't, she will, she won't, what, what will she do, what won't she do, and just different types of conversation, different things, and um, the song, we wrote it in a particular rhythm and he's like oh you know i was so excited because he's like i'm gonna get my friend sean pelton to play drums on this and sean pelton is the drummer for saturday night live which i just thought was the coolest thing and so he went out to la with that song on a drive booked a studio or no he went to new york excuse me um you know had sean come in for the day play this amazing drum part on the original album that we did it um and then Later, it's it's a very sort of epic sounding song in the in its original form, and then uh, I just sort of felt like it had this little sort of country bluegrassy feel. So I changed the whole song, and the way I've done it ever since then was completely different. And I like I like this. I mean, I like the other way too, but this way's and nice. Very few people have ever even heard the original. That's true. That's true. I have to release. Th- we release that at some point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so do I have, I got time for one more. Um. I'm in tune here.
Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you. She tied you to a kitchen chair. She broke your throne. She cut your hair. From your lips, she drew the heart. sing that one too much anymore i know and uh yeah. i'm i'm glad actually because now every time i sing it i i remember how special it is yeah and uh thank you for that request as well well i hope everybody enjoyed tonight it was kind of a nice yeah, to nice. 
It's an interesting mix of music, I think. Um, if you'd like to help us out by, um, you know, sort of keeping us able to do this and keep the uh, production costs, um, you know, sort of, well, just sort of help with the production costs, you can do that by going to www.chriswilson.us and making a donation through PayPal, um, just in any amount that you felt comfortable with if you enjoyed uh, this this programming. Um, and uh, we would be very, 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 very grateful for that. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. I say that a lot. All, and all uh, the announcements. Yeah. Check out the website, the show page, for all the different events going on. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks again for watching tonight. And uh, we love you. We love you guys. Keep keep uh, answering or keep looking at our emails and checking back on the website. We are adding new shows all the time, and we're updating information all the time. Um, and fairly soon we're going to have a website for the new little guitar shop here on in Main Street. Um, our, our plan is to sort of open probably sometime, at least a soft opening sometime in March. So yeah. keep an eye out for that. And uh, we wish you a wonderful weekend ahead. God bless and good night. <laughs>